welcome back to the channel guys thanks for joining us for another video and yeah today we've got a lovely expo at an abandoned farmhouse so i have been to this location before but i accidentally deleted my footage so yeah i came to carry out a paranormal expo with one of my good friends and yeah so needed a good excuse to come back it's a lovely day for it just walked down some lovely little steps there a bit dangerous on the phone but we got down safely so yeah, we'll just get to the bottom of here and uh, I need to just check my maps one last time, make sure we're on the right track. And um, we should just take us straight up to the house. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm not sure where this is going to lead us to. We are at the side of private property. They've got a couple of signs up. Seems to open up onto a big car park. I thought there was a house there. There's literally just a couple of storage bins. Bit of demolition going on. We've got some uh, excavators and some piles of stone. Some lovely stone, to be honest. Beautiful. A couple of old buildings down there as well. Not seen them before. Yeah, so quite a few old buildings here. I've never seen these before. I don't know what they was. But they're certainly getting ripped down. A couple of machines over there I just missed while I was taking a phone call. But hopefully we'll get them on the way back down. But yeah, there's plenty of stone being dumped there. I'm having a great big dig out. We're just following the new public footpath. And hopefully this is going to take us to our location. Just had to turn around. We're finally back on the right track. Yeah, this track will lead us straight to our location now. Beautiful scenery on this Sunday afternoon. Be our location there. I think so. It was very dark last time I come here. Yeah, it was very dark. Um, we took a, a very nasty route as well. I'll try and put the drone up and, and mark it off the way that we come originally when we came at night to carry out the paranormal investigation. It was literally horrendous weather. Absolutely pouring it down. I was absolutely drenched gutted I lost the videos to be honest because it, it was fun it was a bit wild but we walked all the way along the reservoir on the banking which was rough full of rocks stuff like that so yeah it was tough tough terrain took about an hour an hour to walk from the main car park up to the location so yeah it was a rough one oh, I can just see the house it's just up there you can just see our location just there Flying the English flag. Beautiful day for it. Beautiful day. with a coffee sitting out by the pond and here she is it's glad to be back show you out from the house Yeah, that was very dangerous. I nearly fell down that last time. I'll just show you that. It was absolutely pitch black. Like a huge well culvert for surface water drainage coming off the hills. Yeah, just 
Let's look at this. Look at this for a beauty. I can't find absolutely any information on this online. I couldn't do last time. I've had another look. Don't know who it belonged to, how long it's been abandoned. Yeah, let's get inside. Asbestos roof. So last time I came here, the tap still worked and we had fresh clean water coming in. Look at that. Fresh. Because this is like some sort of wash down area for the animals maybe. Looks like it. Got their own little booths and a bit of a trough. Plenty of asbestos on the floor. Should be masked up, really. There's the entrance into the house. It's a nice, nice big barn. I didn't go in the other barn last time. Might try and have a nosy in there. But yeah, it's a bit nicer to see in the daylight. A couple of little bits of materials. Nice light switches. in good condition. Beautiful. Yeah, I think we'll show you inside the house and then we'll try and get in that big barn. If there's any homeless men living in here. Spook it. Only a fire damage from this point onwards. Yeah, this is where we carried out a paranormal investigation. We started in here. Very, very old cooker. Cool, that, isn't it? Didn't notice that before, concrete floor. No food, no tins in cupboard for us. And it's just completely burnt from this point. No chance of getting upstairs. You can go to the other side of the house through that broken glass door over there. There's like a weird little prayer's room. Yeah, it's a bit safe for coming in daytime. time. You can just see the extent of the damage that it caused. Yeah, you won't want to be stepping up there. Definitely not. Do 
didn't see that room last time. It's like a weird little uh, pr prayers room. It's like a confession box. I think this was like the main entrance front door. We've come in just through the fence. Yeah. Spooky in there, isn't it? So yeah, that's why we didn't get round to that other room. I mean, you could possibly squeeze through there, but I've not got my hard out with me, so I'm not gonna bother. But yeah, this was uh, like a little weird confession box. We did do a second part of the paranormal investigation in here. To be honest, though, guys, we didn't get much paranormal activity at all. It was very quiet. Uh, the cat ball went off once or twice, but I weren't sure whether it was actually rain dropping on top of it and just uh, setting it off. So, yeah, it was not like we got much action, but it was just good. Good experience. Great to get out in the dark. And, yeah, do we risk going up there? It's a bit dangerous, but I know the floor's safe. Let's go see if we can get in that other, other big barn. Because that is uh, an unexplored area for me. Yeah, very dangerous place. Got to try this at home. Leave it for us to do. But yeah, if you was homeless, you'd certainly uh, be making the most of places like this. It's not ideal, but it's better than being out on the streets. Somebody might as well use it. I can't fit through, but my camera can. And if I watched that back on the camera and there was someone behind there, I wouldn't have talked with my camera. But yeah, I've got the uh, got the drone with us, so I'm just going to send that up and get some aerial shots. Bit of footage from above and just see what that top floor is like, seeing as though we cannot get down through um, all that damaged fallen timber. This is quite nice, almost like castle type wall. What's down here? Just all the grown area. Yeah, we'll quickly get the drone up and uh, see what we can get. See if we can see anything that we can't see on the floor. Just heading back down track now, guys. So we've um, managed to get the drone up and get some lovely shots. Yeah, we'll just head back down and see if we can see anything else on the way out. Yeah, it's been a lovely uh, Sunday afternoon explore. I'm going to try my best to get this edited and uploaded for this evening. But I am in the studio later on this afternoon on a live stream with one of my friends over on Vlog King channel. So go and check that out. I'll be going live at half past six, 6.30pm UK time. So yeah, if you're not busy, go and check that out. The machines we missed before when I was taking a phone call. But yeah, I've never seen one of them before, so if you know what that is and what the purpose for that is, please tell me. Leave it in the comments. Seems like a big spinning wheel and it's just going to grind its way and churn through. What will it cut? Well, it'll just cut like a little channel into it. Oh, 
does say a top cutter on it for maybe cutting the top of the ground. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. I needed an answer for it anyway, mate. <laughs> to resell. Lovely big chunks. Yeah, these are the lovely uh, death stars we came down. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. A nice little Sunday afternoon hike. Decent location in. Yeah, like I said, I'll try and get this video on tonight before I get in the studio for the live stream. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.